Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team here in the School District of Waukesha. What we're going to look at in this video is an issue that's been plaguing some of our users in trying to open files from Google Drive on the iPad. So what's been happening is we're in Google Drive app on the iPad and we try to open certain files, specifically files that wouldn't be Google Apps files. And when we click the open in button, or we click our three dots at the top, we don't necessarily get the options that we're looking for. In this case, it's working out for me. I'm looking for a notability file, and I can either click open in or I could click notability that exists there. What is not happening for some folks is the option to open it up in the right place. And so if that's happening for you or for some of your students, and it seems to be a pretty inconsistent issue, here's a possible workaround if the Google Drive app is not working. I'm going to hop over to Safari and I'm going to open up Google Drive in Safari. So here's what it looks like and this is the mobile version um, of Google Drive in Safari which isn't particularly user friendly or helpful in this case. But what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to select right here my three bars to get my options and then I'm going to come down to desktop version. And what that's going to do is make Google Drive look like it does look on a desktop. So I'll give it just a moment to pull up here. All right, so here's the next piece. We know that it's an unsupported browser and it's going to have some unexpected behavior, no big deal. So I'm just going to close that out. Then I'm going to go to the file I'm particularly looking for. So here's an example. We'll get out of Google Photos and go to Recents. Okay. So here's an example right here of that same file or this world map file. What I'm going to do is tap on that world map file. I'm then going to click these three arrows, or these three dots I should say, and then I'm going to click download. Once I do that, I get my open in, and this is actually a more traditional look that we've probably seen before. So now I can go open in, and I can open it in the proper app from there. So this is a potential workaround if you're having a hard time opening files on the iPad from Google Drive. And we'll just complete that process there. And you can see it switches over to the appropriate app and gives me what I need. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact any of us on the Instructional Tech Coordinator team. Thanks.